Welcome back to the Brick Tech Studio and welcome back to my Lego organization journey. So far, you've seen me spend a lot of time on my biggest enemy, which is the Brick Tech Storage Room of Doom. And I spent time in there not only organizing that, but also parting out sets in order to create more space in there just to move around. That isn't the only problem though that I'm dealing with. I'm also dealing with issues here in the studio, specifically this table. This table is six foot by three foot and it was originally put here in order to, for us to have a Lego city. That was my intention with this that I made a video on a long time ago. The problem is I'm not very good at following through and Clark Man is very good at creating things. And this table went from being just a few items that he created as like a space holder for our city to an entire table of Clark Man mocks that are just completely overflowing this. And he continues to build, which I like to encourage because as any parent, you want your kid to be creative. But the problem is we just have way too many mocks. Like we have too much of everything basically. Uh, so I started creating a deal with him where if he wants to build a new mock, he has to tear apart an old one. And oftentimes he'll just grab like a little piece like this and he'll tear like two pieces off of this and that's like the mock that he destroys and I'm like dude we got to do something here so I figured out a way to convince him to redo this table and it was through the the fact that maybe we could actually make a Lego city maybe this is something that could be a reality and as I was telling him about this and all my dreams or things we put into it I finally got him on board. So this morning he's having breakfast right now and getting ready for school, but he's gonna come down and we're gonna take the first step, which is to figure out which mocks are absolute keepers and which ones we could possibly part back into the collection so we can clear this off and get ready for the next chapter here in the Brickitech studio, which is for us to have a Lego city. While we're waiting on Clark, man, I'll give you a little tour of what is currently our city, I suppose. You can see there was some attempt there. There was the hotel and then this tower, and then there's a road that runs through here. But as things continue to come in, it got a little crazier and crazier. There's a lot of custom minifigs here. The reason everything is so disheveled right now is because I was talking to Clark about putting a train on this table and he loved the idea of that. So instead of actually parting stuff out he just took everything and pushed it all in so maybe we could have a train running around this giant mess but i didn't really like that idea so i'm like dude we got to do something and convincing him to do a lego city was i think the best thing that i could possibly do for this table and for the future of our our space here because how cool would it be instead of seeing all of this we actually had a town here. I do have this long-standing dream of building an amusement park, but as I thought more about it, I feel like there's a lot more prospects for creation in a city. Plus, Mrs. Brickitect is also going to get involved with something that she wants to make too. So I can't turn down a family building plan uh, for something that I wanna do. So maybe I can sneak like a little roller coaster in somewhere, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Hey, Buddy. I'm ready. Honey, I'm ready. It's mocking time. You're actually going to do this? Yes. Oh my gosh. I do want to keep our little robo guys built, our little robots. Okay. Anything you want to keep built, let's put it on the table over there, okay? okay. Anything left on the table is going to be something that we ultimately part out. Okay, what table? Right over there where we work at. Do, 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 Keeping do, do. that guy built? <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> it's a lot of bricks. My brick heads. Remember, we're not keeping everything, okay? I like, know. we're not just gonna move this table over here. Oh, it's a oh. brick tech video. My favorite thing that you've ever made. The wither. Yeah, this is probably Clark's greatest mock that he's ever made. Oh. I the, love the that. The mellow boogie. <laughs> okay, we'll keep it. This is a complete set, which I will break down. We could use some of those road pieces though, Clark, man. This can go in the Mario world. Okay, that's yeah. upstairs, right? Yeah. Okay. Keep. Works for me. <laughs> I think it's a, it's a sign, Clark, man. He wants to go and get parted out. No, I don't, I don't think he does. Well, my polka dot guy. My pattern. <laughs> There's a spider on him. Ew. There's going to be so much we have to tear apart. That's so what I'm hoping much. for, actually. What about your little police cars? No, that can get parted out. <laughs> We'll build a much better. What are you doing? That's a part out. It's cute. Oh. The Enderman can pass away. The Mickey Mac rest in peace. Wow, you're giving up that Enderman. That's crazy. Is that table? I haven't seen that in months. I forgot there was even a table under here, Clark, man. All um, your Fabuland guys are like, get me out of the city. Yeah, they've been living in, in fear for a long time over here. It's kind of hard choosing what to keep, huh? Yeah, well, there's so many things I like. I do have a lot of keeps. 
table's getting pretty full over here, Clark man. I have good memories of us doing this together. This is sentimental for me. So we'll keep our turtles, even if they're jank. Clark made a tipper truck for Brickstar that we still need to send out. We'll save that. I think that's right up there with the wither in terms of my favorite stuff that you've built. This is an actual Lego set, right? Yeah, I customized. Okay, we'll keep that too. I think it does need keeped. The Minecraft world. No. I love that. We have the globe upstairs. It's my little inspired globe. Okay. Put it on the table. I knew there would be some casualties Scores. here today. Those could be parts for our city, Clark. I could see a tree coming out of that, maybe. <laughs> oh, Mario. Yeah, I can't forget him. This hotel was quite the conversation last night that we had. What did we talk about with the hotel? I wanted to destroy it. Uh -huh. You wanted to keep it. Why do you want to keep it? Because it's my first mock ever built, and I just love it. And what was my recommendation that we do? What's the plan that we, I came up we with? We build a, a new nine-story hotel. It has walls and stuff. And beds and Bathroom, landscaping. And yeah. bathrooms. No, it has nowhere to poop. <laughs> yeah, there's nowhere to poop inside that hotel. If you did, it'd be pretty breezy out there. For everything that you see in this world that you've made here that's sentimental, I plan to do that tenfold when we make our city and we create things together in here that we're playing with and building up together. Yeah. I think it's gonna be really neat. So instead of this being like a giant mess, it becomes a place that you can play in and you can enjoy and all these mini figs that you create, they'll have a world to live in and not, you know, just a destruction of, uh, of doom like this. <laughs> I want you to keep making mocks though because I think this is a really cool thing that you're doing, but we need to create a place for you to have these things. There needs to be like a home for your mocks and like a spot where once it runs out, we need to make a decision on like, okay, do we want to keep this old guy when we're making new stuff? There's always going to be new creations, Clark man. And it's very hard to hold on to everything. And that's pretty much what this whole Lego organization thing has been about for me. It's about letting things go and focusing on what I'm doing now and into the future. And this, I think, is going to be a great future for us. And I'm just happy to have Clark Man finally on board with uh, getting rid of just uh, maybe what, like 70% of what was on the table? This is all going to go, right? Yeah. Everything on here. We're going to part it back out into the collection. My partner in crime, our city, will be underway, but we've got a lot of work to do. I'm not super looking forward to doing that, but I know anything that you want in life, if you really want it, you got to work to get there, and this is going to take some work to do this. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. This is the future site of our future city, and uh, the previous site of Tornado Alley, or whatever Clark Man's World is called. Lots of memories here, but new ones to be made. Shall we begin? Yes. What do we start? What's the first victim here? First victim? Optimus. Um, okay, I'm gonna pick something. How about this wall? With lots of cool guys on it. Uh-huh. I'm glad you like my mini figs. But, I oh, do. that Batman. That Batman's cool. awesome, dude. <laughs> That's it. Super simple thing to tear apart. Yeah. I'm, this was I'm, in your wall phase, wasn't I'm, it? I'm, yeah, yeah. In my um, CMF. <laughs> it's a brick deck video again. There goes a lot of prime. We're gonna get torn apart anyways. We should just do it like a drop test. Clark's taking drop tests to another level here. <laughs> Anticlimactic. He is rock solid. <laughs> That's how you build a good mock right there. Uh -huh. Doesn't even break apart when you drop him from the stairs. Are you gonna be okay with me tearing some of that stuff apart while you're at school? Yeah. Anything that's on, I'll take as much help as I can get. If it's on the table, you're okay with it though, right? Yep. We're going to realize just how many pieces we actually have now that they're not going to be on the table. All these yeah. tiles are going to come back into our collection. Yeah, look at all these red tiles I'm pulling off this man's arms. Look at these gray ones that are all over this. That's progress right there, baby. Nice. I also got single white plates. Good job, buddy. Good job. You guys know that teamwork makes the dream work, and I think through a little bit of effort between the two of us, it won't take long for us to clear this table off and begin on the journey to our dream, which is having a really cool Lego city down here. And that'll be a whole nother thing. And I'm excited to bring you guys along with that. So thank you for tuning in here this morning as we begin this progress. And we'll see you all in the next video.